Hey guys, it's Anthony and I'm here today to talk about installing Nala and improving your Debian system in if this is a personal system, uh, but if this is enterprise you probably don't want to do this, but I'm going to show you how to speed up apt downloading. So, let's just go ahead and choose some stuff here. Let's go ahead and just start fresh from Debian. Um yeah. There we go. Let's just double it for now. Give us enough. And that's fine. We'll just stick with that. And Debian November 9th. Finish. Yes, please. And we'll go through all of this go quickly and during the long loading parts I'll just pause and come back to you but yeah we're gonna speed up app downloading today that's the goal and it's through a tool called Nala and with help from Chris Titus Tech and his guide online so I will get back to you when we're done and through the installation process alright and we're back so we just installed Debian. We're going to run an apt update. We're going to do some quick stuff real quick. Uh, it looks like I need to allow it through the firewall again. There we go. Okay. <laughs> After this figures out what it's going to be doing, <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. And we're going to install a few things because this is a fresh. Uh, install of Debian. We're going to install sudo and vim. Uh, there we go. Okay. Now we're going to reboot. And we're going to try our user that we just created. sudo apt update and we're just going to see if we can get that to work and I am not okay so, su root and we are going to add user not found user add really Seriously? <laughs> okay, let's figure this out real quick. I probably just didn't install something. Okay, there we go. Anthony, thank you, to sudo. Done. Reboot. And there we go. Okay, now we should have sudo. Sudo apt update. There we go. Okay. Cool beans. Now that that's done, sip of coffee. sudo vim slash etc. apt sources.list and we want to add non free. And actually, before we do this, uh, system CTL status SSH. Okay. Uh, I guess we also need open SSH.
maybe maybe it is already this is <laughs> status and cannot be found <laughs> let me check my notes here I have notes here as I thought because in the installer you can enable SSH oh maybe it's Hmm. Maybe it's not installed. I have quick notes in here and getting uh, this set up. I was just not prepared for this. I apologize. <laughs> I was not prepared for having to do this and install it. Uh, that's that's why. Okay. And it should just automatically be configured and enabled, but we'll double check it. Nice, okay, it works. If I can spell today. Say dot one two two dot two forty two. Yes, password. Don't use password as your default password. All right, sudo because then we can now can copy and paste into just this SSH uh, terminal. Uh, thank you. Okay, now let's do what we were going to do non free contrib and I can oh dear stop it thank you oh I'm getting ahead of myself here recommend you do some research before editing this file all right there we go okay now this is going to be credit wow I'm tripping over my words today this is going to be courtesy of Chris Titus tech in stop using apt you can find this article here at this link or on YouTube. So we need to do a couple of things first. We need to add this repository, which is Volian, Volian, Volian. I don't know, however you want to say it. Uh, we want to add this repository so we can get Nala. And now that we have our non-free and contrib repositories, we shouldn't run into any trouble. I am good. No, thank you. Let's make this a little bit smaller. And we're actually we're actually done with this now. We can close this and we can put this to the side here. And if you're using SID, you can run this command. Or if you're using Debian stable, use Nala legacy. And yes, thank you. And once this is done, we're going to do sudo nala fetch. 
which essentially is going to test all of the mirrors and it's going to take probably four, five, six minutes and I'll come back to you once this is done. Hello, hello, I am back and I also have an Arnold Palmer with me. So that's fun. Ooh. All right, so now that it's done fetching the mirrors, we just put in the ones that we want. Are we all the way? Yes, we are, okay. You want one, two, and three? Yeah, sure. Sure, that's fine. All right. And now that we've done that, we have a couple of things we can do. Here's just part of the features, so we can look at the history. Yeah, so this is kind of cool. Rolling back and such. So what we're going to want to do now is to replace sudo apt update and have it catch and do nala. Instead of just running apt update, we're going to sudo vim our bash rc in our home directory. Scroll down to the bottom here. I for insert, paste the code. It's not really code, it's just, um, yeah, and save it, sudo vim, and then we're going to go to a root and do the same thing, dot bash, rc, go all the way down here to the end, i for insert, get rid of these comments, there we go, and we're going to paste the same thing. We're going to come back here in a minute. Once it comes back up, it shouldn't take too long. Are we back yet? Yes, we are. OK. And check this out, sudo apt update. Bada big bada boom, done. But I'll show you what this does. It's kind of interesting. It just gives you more information, makes it more readable. All right, let's say we want to get Firefox. So sudo install Firefox, extended stable release. Say yes, Nala's going to handle it for you and manage all the downloads. Usually Firefox takes the longest to download with apt so this is I don't know I see an improvement here I do and I don't know if I'm just trying to see an improvement but I do see an improvement here done almost there we go now we're gonna install it with D package And almost done. D package, I don't think speed really changes there because that's just D package. But if we want to remove it, sudo apt remove Firefox CSR. We're going to, it's going to show us, hey, we're removing all of this stuff. Are you okay with that? Yes, I am. It's just, yeah, I think this is a lot better. What I don't like, okay, and that's one thing I, I, one complaint I have so far. I would like to be able to log this if there's a logging option. Maybe that's just the knowledge history. Let's see what that does. Oh, it just tells us the transaction. But like, all the stuff before this stuff is lost. You know, you can't go up in here because this is all just part of the output. So, I don't know. That that can be one thing that could be problematic for some. It could be for me, but I can see how useful this is if you're just casually using this on your Linux system. But, yeah, that's about it. And this is how you speed up some of your app downloads. So, thank you so much, and I appreciate the time.